Alright, so where are we up to in this? I see. Okay, so I'm only about just over halfway through. Also, um, the game has since added a death counter and other things, like speedrun times and such. So that's pretty good. But yeah, let's just get into it. Dude. Oh man. I just had a hedge maze before. Also, I need to change the height because things changed. There we go, perfect. Perfect. Okay. You know, it always feels so strange going back to this game. Also, how am I... Oh, they want you to do the whole thing twice. I see, okay. I can do that. I don't like that jump. I don't like that jump at all. Like starting on a hedge maze stage kind of sucks because they're kind of hard. And I am in the hardest world right now, so that doesn't help my case either. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I'm looking forward to chilling anyway. Ugh. Oh my god, why do they have to be like right on the edges? Right near the spikes. Okay. Good. Alright, so from here, I guess I just want to jump and then go back. Oh boy, okay. Can I just run off this? I can. And there's nothing else. I have to drop down the middle here though. That's good. Now I have to do all that again. <sighs> and there was a spike on the floor in front of me that I didn't even see, dude. What the heck? That's like the one thing I don't like in this game, is that the spikes blend in with the background. I don't know what it is about them, they just don't stand out. Like, the purple on purple doesn't help, but... I think also hiding them under, like, the foreground elements, even though they're not really hidden, it just draws attention away from them. I don't know. The same with the coins. Purple? Yeah, the... Like, the whole screen. Of spikes. Yeah. You're right on time! You sure are, dude! Alright. I wonder if I'll actually be able to beat the stage today, though. That's gonna be the real test right now. Beat a stage. Okay, good. Ugh, I thought I was gonna hit the wall again. I'm not talking about the background, I'm talking about the spikes. But the background uh, does have a, uh, like a burgundy accent on it. So burgundy and grey together kind of make it look more purple. Oh, I forgot. I forgot a thing. I can go back for it. Yeah, this game's pretty tricky to play, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, I did it again. It's pretty tricky to play, but... I've gotten pretty far through it, so I'm gonna see it through to the end. Stages like this are a lot more precise than... You know, a lot of other platformers I play, so it's expected that I'm going to get stuck on them for a while.
This looks like an I want to be the guy fan game. Why is that? Okay. Up through. Oh my god, dude. The fact that I'm gonna have to like go through here twice is kind of saddening. <laughs> Level design, I see. Yeah, it's pretty much that. Go through a maze, get to the end. Oh. You know what, I think when I jump up to that coin, I'm just going to commit and fall down to the right. Because trying to change direction without hitting the spikes on the way back is the hard part. So I think if I just commit, I'll be fine. Okay, up we go. Yeah, something like that. The hardest part of playing this for me though is that the character moves very far horizontally. Um, so even just the slightest tap is enough to send me flying, you know, straight into death. So I'm trying to like feather it a bit, but then I don't make the distance. So I'm just trying to like get used to doing the jump. Like, I just have to remind myself that on that first jump at the top left, I don't have to press a direction until after I collect the coin. Okay. So like, here, I just go neutral, and then when I fall, I press the direction. But then you also fall so fast, it's really hard to, like, <laughs> pay attention to. And then if you do it too soon, you hit the spikes at the top. But I think I'll just go back to what I was doing before, which was, uh, as soon as I collect the coin, just go back to the left, so like here, and then go down here and do a short hop. Yep. I did it again, dude. Like, oh, that, that one at the bottom, I just don't see it. Like, I don't remember until after I hit it, and I'm like, oh man, I'm stupid. I'm too busy looking ahead of what I'm trying to do. Okay. Didn't move across enough. Love that. Right is just not having it for me today. The key's hard to get. The key should be fine, because all I have to do is be at the uh, the top left of that square and then do a full jump through. Um, like it kind of gives you the ability to test it, you know, here, I guess. So like if I get here and then do a full jump, Yeah, okay. So not the top left square, the um, the bottom left square. If I half hang off the bottom left square and do a full jump through, I should dodge all the spikes. So that should be fine. Okay. Hey, don't die to this. Good. Let's see if I'm right. Piece of cake. All right. Ah, 
Oh, I was supposed to walk through that. Ah, damn it. I was supposed to do the exact same thing twice. Alright, whatever. Practice. Ah, and that time I ruined it. Oh well. Oh well. Definitely a learning game. <sighs> Never know how far I'm gonna go, dude. The good thing is, though, if I don't end up passing this stage, then I don't have to upload anything to YouTube. Okay. Good. Ugh, he hung there so long. Oh, please. That did not hit me. Okay. So do it from halfway up the block, instead of trying to sink down a bit, just jump immediately as soon as you get on it. Okay. Good. At least we got this part down, that's kind of important. Come on. Go. getting bullied. I walk off there it's like all right is he gonna walk too far and I'll hit the spikes or is he not gonna walk far enough and then I can't react in time which is it gonna be it's never the one I want I just want to get to like an open stage so I can run around and be stupid. Hey. Video game. Okay, video game. Thanks, Cobalt. And then... Fuck you, dude. 
Like, it's only because I'm going for 100%, which involves getting all of these coins, too. The game on its own isn't so bad. Like, these stages are easy enough to navigate, getting from start to end. It's just trying to get the, um, the actual stuff that makes it hard, you know? Um... Dude, please. Let's put the volume back. Oops. Oh, it's muted. <laughs> that doesn't help either. Devil X! Is the, uh, are the alerts playing twice? Or am I just mishearing? Devil X, thank you for the 24 months and congrats on the new badge. My dude. They are playing twice? What happens on the first one? I guess I'll have to check it out later. Thank you, dude. Oh shit, Gabs is dead. You weren't paying attention? Dude, me either. Wait, Gabs is alive. Yeah, I just heard it twice too. I guess I'll have to make note of it. Cause that wasn't happening yesterday. And I feel like I've done something without realizing. Oh my god. Only 1300 steps? I wonder why. Now I need to check the step counter and see if that was updating. I guess it reset when I switched game, but that shouldn't be the case either. Alright, time to make some notes after I die. Oh my god. Please. Why is this jump so impossible? Oh yeah, let's make notes of things. Okay, so what have we got? Sub please twice. And... Back. Alright, we got this. We got this. You okay? Alright. Fuck. Dude. I wish tile precision, precision wasn't so impossible in this game. <laughs> Alright. Now we have to do the double walk-off again, which is like... impossible. Okay. Thanks. <sighs> I almost want to debate that second one because I... I'm certain I landed. What happens once I get down there? So I go left and then I jump and then it's just a couple of close ones.
and then, yeah, like, okay, objection, a couple of close ones and then the ending, the ending looks so much easier than the start, which I'm happy for, because the start's kind of shitty, but at least I get to do it a lot. Just that drop, dude, it sucks so much. Like, the character moves too fast, where well, you can't just do a walk off and be okay. But they fall too fast, where you can't just, like, stutter your jump a bit and hope for the best. Oh, sorry, stutter your movement, I should say. Man. Like, I'm trying to jump early so that I have enough space on the way down to kind of just hold right. But if I jump too early, I just hit the spike on the top and then it's like, alright, start again. Okay. Good. Okay. It's just the same thing. Just do it twice. That's all you gotta do, man. Just do the same thing twice. That's all it is. Same thing twice. I forgot this one. Whoops. Your heart is heavily breathing? That might be your lungs, my dude. Oh my god, if I keep landing on that bottom left corner and dying every time, I'm gonna lose it. Ugh. Just let me get past that. this. I hate this so much. This is such a bad stage to come back to, but also it's such a bad stage. Actually, no, I can't fault the stage. I can't fault the stage for the controls. That's, that's wrong with me. I just dislike how inconsistent I am on pad with this game compared to every other game. And I just need to get out of my system, otherwise I won't cope. Oh. 
Like, I have no way of knowing if the character is going to go too far or not. I just run off the edge and then let go at some point. And like, because the timing window is so small for when you reach max speed or when you stop, it's, it's too hard to gauge. Like, you know, at what point do I let go? Do I let go when I leave the floor or do I let go like half a tile after I've left the floor? I don't know. Annoying, the amount of times I've gotten through here. <sighs> Only to keep dying to the same thing. Same thing over and over. Fuck, man. Like, there's only so many different ways you can jump to the right. You hold right and you jump. There's two buttons. <laughs> but the outcome is so, like, disastrously different every time. So, we're just gonna call this the RNG stage. Uh, basically, it's gonna be luck if I get through here. Um, so... We're just going to have to wait for good RNG. Like, I'm almost certain, I'm almost certain that as soon as I get through this bullshit, I'll beat the rest of the stage, no problem. Either that, or I'll be so nervous from the fact that this is luck-based, that I'll fuck up the ending from my own, you know, nerves. But I'm pretty confident that as soon as I get past that stupid part, the stage is free. Even once I get down there, I still have to jump to the right a bit, which is, you know, seems easy. It's like, yeah, just jump into that gap on the right, but it's really not. Just because of the way the character moves. That's the great thing about having an input display, is that, like, you can see me let go of the button and then hold it again, but the character doesn't even slow down, they just keep going. They just keep going and they just die. Oh man, love that. Jump, you got it. nearly died on that one. Okay. Alright, do not kill me with a stupidly high jump. Please. <laughs> Please. Ugh. All right. Seems good. Stupidly high jump. Thanks. <sighs> Thanks for that. See, that was the tiny jump I was going for, and I didn't get it. Oh, fuck, man. Now, how will that be easier for me? I think it might be easier if... Uh... Okay. I might have to do some... some alignment strats with this. But now, hopefully... 
hopefully now that I've gotten through that thing, the mental barrier will be gone and we can just get through all the time. Just like beforehand. You know? Did I say jump out at full speed into the spikes on the other side? No. Did I say completely stop when you hit the top of the ceiling? No. Honestly, collecting the key is like the freest part of all this. I'm gonna try and go for a more consistent setup on that, um, which is where I grab the wall and then just do a walk off. I'll see if it works out. It's hard to explain what I mean exactly, um, but it's basically the equivalent of like doing this. feel when you tell the game you have a more consistent setup for something else and so they stop you from even getting to it. <sighs> but yeah, looking at the ending now, it's definitely not free based on uh, my RNG jump height and movement. But yeah, let's see if this works. Okay, that won't work. That won't work because I won't be able to... Um... That won't work because I won't be able to get onto the wall in time. Alright, never mind, I have to go back to the old way. not really noticeable on this stage because of how the platforms are set up um, but if the character is even like a pixel below the platform um, it will put them into a wall climb animation and so instead of landing so instead of landing on the platform it'll treat it as a wall climb and you hit the spike instead that's why it looks like even though I'm making it to the platform I'm still dying because technically I'm like a pixel down Again. Okay. Attempt number two. Mm. 
Oh, he didn't grab the... <sighs> Alright, fine. Whatever, that's my fault. Um... I do have a setup for that, but I thought I could just go neutral. That's unfortunate. And I didn't want to explain my setup because I figured it would be just easier to do. But I've sussed out the ending now. I thought I died. I'm gonna add that as an alias. I didn't think to do that. Uh, it's just leaderboard without the S, but I'll add leaderboards so that in future it works. Alright, where are we? Leaderboard. Yep. That'll work in future now. Also, we did the stage, yay! Finally, fuck. That was dreadful. But hey, now we get to do, like, the start of another stage. So yeah, there's only like 15 minutes left of the stream now, so... I'm not gonna promise anything too miraculous. Especially with how low these are. Oh my god, dude. Why does everything have to be so close to everything? Right there. Huh? Ugh. Can I jump through this way? No. Alright, so I do have to hold left again. I have no control over my jump, dude. Absolute zero. No. Why does it just stop? Actually, I know why it stops. It's because when you let go of the direction, you go neutral again. And so I need to be holding right up until I tap left, which is hard to do when I'm shifting my body on pad. So... I need to make sure I'm holding right until I make it through, but then I need to make sure I immediately switch to left. Like that. And then I need to make sure I hold right after I jump. I have to go back too. Whoops. Okay, well that kind of sucks. Huh. Fuck you, dude. Oh, 
Honestly, getting down this part is the trickiest part. Like, crossing this lower barrier. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, it's just low enough. It's just low enough, but also... Actually, yeah, just in general, it's just low enough so that even if you make it, you'll probably kill yourself trying to correct your next jump. Whatever, I'll get those on the way back if I make it that far. Also, I'm pretty sure the player has like two slide speeds, and I'm not used to it. Because I feel like sometimes the player slides really fast, but maybe they just reach their top speed and I'm not used to that. I don't even know, dude. I think I'll just practice doing this jump. Is it the only jump that matters? Like, I can do everything else in this stage, it's just this jump. <sighs> Thank you. Gotta get on the way back now. <sighs> Dude, I landed on that platform. What the heck? I actually thought I wasn't going to make that, so I just gave up. Don't kill me. Thank you. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Why can't I make that? It seems like I'm supposed to make that. I don't trust it. Oh, you die on them. Okay. Very well. It's so hard to just land on a single tile. 
Also, like, what the hell do you do? Hey, thanks for not dying. You know, I was kind of hoping there was a crouch button that I just never knew about up until now, <laughs> but there isn't. Alright, so I'm pretty sure what I have to do is I have to actually skip a platform. So stand here and then jump across to there. Yeah, that seems to be the strat, so I'll do that. Although, for some reason, I can't make it now, so now I don't even know. Okay, I guess you just do it like that. If I had more control over my character, that would have been okay. <laughs> but we both know that that ain't happening. Oops. I don't know why I jumped like that. That was really awkward. this character would make up its mind about whether it wants to move or doesn't want to move. It just seems to not know. Sometimes you just keep sliding after you land on a platform and then other times you just come to a complete standstill. Ugh, too soon. Just like that. <laughs> Please stay on the platform. I know that they did add a death counter, um, but it hasn't been there from the beginning, so all of my earlier stages don't have deaths on them. What am 
I doing? I just froze. I didn't know which one I was looking at. Like, it's exactly the same thing on the way back, just in reverse. That's it. Granted, that's easier said than done, considering the same thing relies on moving, and moving is inconsistent, so... Soon. Like, I actually don't mind this stage aside from the fact that I fall too fast and I move way too erratically. Like, all I'm trying to do is just line myself up to the nearest tile. Please. Oops, I forgot to jump. Gonna align yourself to the nearest tile with a two tile margin of error. <laughs> Aim for the middle means you're gonna potentially land to the left or the right. There's no in between. Like, it's weird, it almost feels like the game unpatched itself. It worked for like, one, one session and then it just went back to being bullshit. <sighs> Did I say jump into the pit, dude? Come on, man. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Alright, I, I guess I just won't jump at all there, huh? Thank you for not dying. Good God. Okay, we're through. We're freaking through, dude. There you go. I'm done for today. We got through three stages. That was disappointing. Uh, I'm just going to go and drop a host to Walsk. You guys have a good one. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for more dance games, and then I guess we'll continue right. Uh, and then once I get to the end, I'm gonna decide whether or not to go for the extra stages, because I don't know. If it keeps controlling like this, I don't think I'll bother. Anyway, see you dudes. Bye!